Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally gonna be sitting down and sharing with you everything that I have purchased for Baby Lincoln so far. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit congested. I have been sick for what feels like forever um, and it's just not getting any better. So I am really nasally, but I'm 35 weeks and three days and last night I was having some consistent contractions. Not that that means anything, but my body is definitely like getting into gear, which means I really, really need to start <laughs> setting everything up so before I do that I did want to bring everything downstairs and just share with you guys the things that have been sent to me or gifted or things that I have purchased so I'm going to do that right now if you are new to my channel I would love it if you subscribed I have three little boys and I'm currently pregnant with my fourth so I didn't need to buy like a ton of things but there were a lot of things that I did need to replace so let's just get right into the video okay so first let's start off with clothing I did not need to purchase really any clothing because I obviously have three other boys and I've saved a lot of clothes over the years but there were a couple um, of sizes that I needed to restock up on and that was zero to three and three months so so I bought a bunch of zero to three month onesies from cloud island they came in a pack of three this one just has little bears on the knees I thought that was so cute and they all come with mittens so I have this one, this one that has clouds on it, this black one that has some really pretty cream detailing, and then this was the second pack that I got. This one just has mountains, this one that has like, I don't know, arrows or trees or whatever, <laughs> and then this last one that has um, stars on it. So these are the ones that are new that are zero to three. And then over here, I just got a couple three-month onesies because they were on clearance. I think they were like $4, so I just got this one. This little one that has like some sea creatures on them. And then this one I thought was so cute. These ones don't have mittens though, but like I said, I really needed some zero to three and three month clothing. And then really quick, I wanted to show you guys these Lulu and Co little knotted gowns. They are the softest gowns ever and they have little mittens. So I have this blue one, comes all the way down and you tie it at the end. And then I also have this really pretty green one and this green one is in zero to three so it's a whole lot larger than the blue one but I love these they make nighttime changes so much smoother because you're not really waking your baby up so I love these definitely recommend some knotted gowns okay so moving on into baby gear and like loungers the first thing that I have is a boppy. This was gifted to me from my friend. I used a boppy with all of my babies except for Hudson, my last baby. I did not use a boppy that much, which I regret because this is so convenient for the first couple weeks when you're just tired and you need some support while feeding. Um, I just use like pillows and whatever was near me, but honestly, a boppy is so convenient. I plan on bringing this to the hospital with me. Um, I love, I love, 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 love the print of this. My friend Megan gave this to me. So thankful. Thank you, Megan, for gifting this to me. Um, I definitely recommend a boppy, especially when it comes to feeding. You're so tired in the first couple weeks and just like freely holding your baby can just make your t uh, arms super tired and you might not always have a pillow in reach. So I definitely recommend getting a boppy. And then next I have a snuggle me. So this was actually gifted to me from Snuggle Me. I'm going to take it out to show you guys. This is their new heirloom collection. It has this really pretty like quilted material. I've never used a Snuggle Me before. I've only ever used a Dockatot. But so many people like rave about this. Um, and I can definitely feel a difference between the Dockatot and a Snuggle Me. They are very different. Um, I noticed that the middle of this isn't padded like a Dockatot, but it feels a lot more secure and it's super soft. And this is in the color Buttercream. I'm very, very excited to use this. I sound so nasally. I hope <laughs> when I go to edit this, I'm not incredibly annoyed by the way I sound and scratch this entire video because it took so long <laughs> for me to hobble up and down the stairs to get all this stuff down here. 
I also have a lollipop baby camera. I've heard great things about this. It connects to your phone and it tells you when your baby is fussy, when they're sleeping. It basically just tracks like all of their sleep habits. I got mine in pink because it's going to be in my room and I am surrounded by so many <laughs> blue things and green things and boy colored items that I just wanted something a little bit more personalized to me. So I ended up choosing the pink one. I think it looks so cool, but you can basically bend and mold this so it can like sit straight up or it can like wrap around their crib, however you want to do it. But that is the lollipop camera. I've heard amazing things about it. Um, fun fact, I've actually never had a baby monitor. Kevin and I would actually just FaceTime each other's phones and like leave one phone in the baby's room and then bring the phone with us if we were to like go out in the backyard or something. Um, so I'm really excited to finally have a baby monitor for my fourth baby. So the next thing I have is this Sully baby wrap and this was sent to me when Hudson was a little bit older. So I was only able to use this a couple of times. He was a pretty big baby. I do have big babies. So this will be used a majority with Lincoln. This is like the stretchiest, softest baby carrier I have ever used. I loved using this with Hudson, but like I said, he was so big that it just ended up being uncomfortable. Um, so I'm really, really excited to use it this time. Um, the quality of these swaddles are amazing. I used to have a Moby swaddle. Um, I also have a wild bird sling, but the baby wraps are my absolute favorite. It just makes things so much easier, especially when you have other kids. Like, baby wearing is essential. And even if it's your first baby, like, your babies need to be close to you. Your household, cho your household chores and such can wait. Your baby just really needs that bonding time with you. So I definitely recommend getting a swaddle. There is something in my eye. Oh my gosh, I'm measly. There's something in my eye. Okay, so moving on into feeding and nursing supplies that I purchased. First thing that I got was just this two-pack um, bottle brush from Munchkin. Um, these are super inexpensive and very convenient because I do plan on pumping and bottle feeding if I have to. And speaking of bottles, I ended up just getting these three-pack event bottles. They are in the color blue, which is really cute. And this is in... How many ounces? Not in, uh, how many ounces? I think this is up to, yeah, four ounces. Um, I'm gonna wait and see how he takes to the bottle before I go ahead and start like buying more bottles. But I've always, always, always used the event ones. I've never had a problem with like a colic or anything like that or nipple confusion with these bottles. And then I was also sent a Dr. Brown's bottle, so I have that. Next, I purchased a bunch of flannel receiving blankets. These ones are all from Cloud Island. I ended up getting them on clearance online. I love these. I think the absorbency is great. I've never used, like, muslin cloths as burp cloths before, um, just because I've always had, like, great success with these. They're just really soft, and like I said, the absorbency is amazing. So I ended up purchasing another pack. This one is really cute. It's like very vintage. Um, and then I'm also waiting on one more pack in the mail. Um, I like to keep them in my bedroom, in a diaper caddy downstairs, and also some in my diaper bag. So I just wanted to make sure I had enough. So I have a bunch of binkies from Bibs. They sent them to me a while ago. I will try and list the colors down below if you're interested in any of them, but I have this really pretty vanilla color, this black one, I have three different blues, this greenish gray color, and then these two red ones. I just love the color variety that Bibbs has. Um, I also really like event binkies, but I'm going to hold off on purchasing any and just see if Lincoln likes these. And if he has a problem taking these, um, I'll probably go out and get like a Wubbanub or something. I also picked up some milk storage bags. I've always used the Lansano brand, but they were really expensive, so I just got the Up and Up, and it comes with a hundred. And then I also have some grape water, which is great for colic, gas relief, hiccups, and you can use this once they turn one month. And then Bibbs also sent me this muslin cloth. Um, which is basically just like a burp cloth. And then they also sent me this huge um, muslin blanket. I think it's like a swaddle blanket. I love the color. It's like this really pretty cream. So I'm excited to see how these work. 
I also got this Earth Mama nipple butter. I'm really excited to try this. Even if you've been nursing for a long time and you've got a latch down, it can still be, whoa, it can still be a little bit uncomfortable for the first couple weeks. So I'm really excited to try this. And this is a necessity. So these are the after ease drops and these help so much with afterbirth contractions. They are so painful you guys i would cry every single time i would nurse hudson for the first couple weeks the contractions are like just as intense as active contractions like it's intense so i've heard really good things about this i also ended up purchasing the haka which basically just catches your letdown and this is how i plan on building my freezer stash but this is how it shows on the box this is how you're supposed to use it. So it just like suctions on to the boob that you're not feeding on and then it catches like all of your milk and then you can store it in the fridge. And I like this one because it has a suction cup base. The other one that I used to have a couple years ago didn't and it had fallen over multiple times and I lost all that milk, which is such a sad, <laughs> awful feeling. So this is the second generation one, and this one also comes with like a little stopper to also help prevent milk being spilled. So this item is completely unnecessary, but because I will be using my haka in the middle of the night or just any time that I'm in my room, I decided to get a mini skincare fridge. Um, so my plan is to use the haka in the middle of the night and then store my breast milk in here so I don't have to constantly walk down downstairs to keep it cold so unnecessary um but i just think it's gonna save me so much time and so much sleep and the last thing i want to do is walk all the way downstairs multiple times in the middle of the night to put my milk away and then the cool thing about this is that it also has like a heat option i'm not really sure what i would use that for um but I'm just glad that I got this because I was thinking about just getting like a small little cooler pack But now I don't have to and then the front of it is also a mirror and it has three different light options So this whole thing will light up too. Okay, so now for bath time stuff I ended up picking up a three pack of these Claude Island hooded towels I don't have any of the baby towels I used to have so I had to go and get these um, I also have this little wooden baby hairbrush. I think it's from Natima. It's from Amazon. I'll link it below, but the bristles are so soft. My babies also have really bad cradle cap every, sing oops, every single time. So I'm really hoping this helps. And also, it's just very soft and easy to brush their <laughs> little newborn hairs with. Um, I also have this four pack of these washcloths. This was in a baby box that was sent to me. And then I ended up purchasing a four moms bathtub. It looks like this. I will get a better shot so you guys can see more in detail. Okay, so this is what the bathtub looks like and it basically grows with your baby. So this is like the newborn attachment. And the cool thing about this is all the dirty water runs out while the sink is constantly putting in clean water. It also comes with this little cup to rinse them with and then this turns on once you have like batteries in it and it shows you like the water temperature. Um, I'm excited to use this because I plan on bathing him on my counter and and or in my sink. Um, postpartum is just really difficult on my body. I'm always very, very sore for a long time. And the last thing I want to do is like lean over my tub. So I'm really excited for this to be at a height where I don't have to like bend over and bathe him. I also have some Tubby Todd diaper paste. I've already been using this with Hudson and I love it. And then also from Tubby Todd, I have their fragrance free lotion as well as their hair and body wash. So this was actually sent to me a while ago and I've been using it on the boys, but I mentioned how I wanted to get one that had fragrance in it and they ended up sending me more. So this one is lavender and rosemary. This I'm now using with the boys and this I'm going to be using with Lincoln. I try not to use like any fragrance stuff on my newborns. And then I also just have some new all over ointment for him too because sometimes my babies get baby acne and this stuff I heard works really well on baby acne. 
And then last thing for diapering, I just have this little diaper caddy. This is also from Natima. Um, it just has different compartments inside. And this is what I will keep downstairs in our living room. Okay, so now for diapering. I have one small pack of size one diapers. My two youngest are still in diapers, so by the time Lincoln needs more size one diapers, we'll just buy them as we need them. And then I ended up purchasing a bigger pack of newborn diapers. I don't know how big he's going to be. My first two babies were about eight pounds. This goes to 10 pounds. So they went through them pretty quickly and then Hudson was preemie and he was in newborn for quite a while. So I just didn't want to get too many diapers um, of one size. Cause like I said, I don't know how big he's going to be and we can just buy them as we need them. And then for wipes, I swear by water wipes during the first couple weeks. Um, their skin is just so sensitive. It's so fresh, so new. I just want to be very delicate down there in that area. Um, so I highly recommend water wipes. They are literally the most moist wipes I have ever used. And I swear by them. And then I also ended up getting this four pack of Honest Wipes. So once I run out of my water wipes, I'll just go and use these Honest Wipes. I do use Huggies for my kids, but that's because I also use them on like their face and their hands and they're less expensive and I go through them very quickly. So Honest Wipes is something that I will get here and there. So I will use these after my water wipes are all gone. And then I also ended up getting this Bumco Baby Bum Brush. This basically just helps if your baby has like um, diaper rash and you have to put like butt paste on them. Um, you just put it on this little silicone brush and then put it on their butt so you don't have it all over your fingers. So the next thing I have is actually something that was gifted to me by a friend. And this is a vegan leather changing mat by Ava and Oliver. It has this really pretty scallop trim to it and it's in the color cream. I'm gonna be keeping this in my bedside diaper cart because I change my babies on my bed at night. And the good thing about this with it being leather is that it just wipes clean so it never stains. You don't have to like throw it in the washer every time it gets dirty, which is very, very convenient because babies can make lots of messes when you're changing them. Next in diapering, I have this diaper caddy. This was on my baby registry. I am so happy that I got it. It also comes with big straps, so you can like put it over your shoulder. But I wanted this one because it unrolls and it completely zips, which is gonna be nice because I don't want Hudson digging through all this stuff in here and it ending up all over my living room. So I have three diaper caddies. One of them is going to be a bath time caddy and then two of them will just be diaper caddies throughout the house. Um, but this one has a ton of compartments on both sides. And then same thing with these sides, it has three big pockets. So there's a lot of space in here and then these are also um, removable. So you don't have to have them all in here if you don't want to which I thought was really neat okay I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background I accidentally forgot to show this so it's the next day but I did end up getting a diaper pail this one is rust free I've never heard of this brand before but they sell it at Target and Amazon um, but it has like the little foot opening right here and then once you open it you just have to push your hand in but it has a child proof lock on it which is amazing um, so yeah you just push it in and then you can lock it so your kids don't try and go in there and that is all and then you open it from the side I think it has about 40 bags which is a lot so I have two items that are bedtime related and the first one is this swaddle up it is a swaddle me. I've heard so many good things about this. I've never used this. I always just use wrap swaddles or the Velcro ones, but the Velcro ones do have a tendency of like startling your baby in the middle of the night and it can just be really loud and nobody wants to hear that. So I'm hoping this one will be good for us. If it is, I'm going to size up because this is um, eight to 13 pounds. So it's strictly for the newborn stage. So I'm really hoping that it does us justice so I can go ahead and pick up another one because so many people rave about this. So the last thing for bedtime, I ended up getting this 
this at Baby Delight bassinet. My friend bought this for me off Facebook Marketplace, so the only thing it has is, like, this little hole. It was smaller, but I'm pretty sure Darren poked his finger through there. He's been trying so hard to get inside of this, but it was such a steal. I think she got it for, like, $40, and this is originally, like, $200. Um, so I'm so excited. It comes with, like, um the latch system so it can like latch to your bed i haven't really figured everything out i know that this velcro piece comes out and then this can like drop down i still have to like go through all the ins and outs with it but i'm so excited because i've never had a bedside bassinet because i've always had my mattress on the floor but now that I have my mattress on a platform, I definitely need something a little bit higher. So I'm really, really excited about this. And it's huge. Like, he is literally going to be so <laughs> small, like right here. So there's a lot of room for him to grow. And then the last thing I have is this Love Every Play Gym, but I haven't set it up yet because I don't want my boys like playing on it and breaking it. So I'm going to insert some footage on what it looks like, but I'm so excited to set it up. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.